When you're adding organics to the garden, you have two options. You can put them on top of the ground, or you can dig them into the ground. Which is the best method? If you put organic material on the surface of the soil, plants have to wait until something moves it into the soil near the roots. And that's the job of microbes and insects and earthworms. They'll slowly move that organic mulch that's sitting on top of the soil deeper into the soil where roots can get at it. A faster way to do this is to dig up the soil and get that organic matter right down to where the roots are. The problem with that is that the process of digging the soil destroys soil structure. So it's not really good for soil to do that. The other problem you have is that in ornamental beds you have permanent planting. And you can't just go and dig around there all the time. You're going to damage all of the root system. So in a vegetable bed you have an option. You can dig that organic matter in and it will act faster to supply nutrients for the roots. But for your ornamental beds, the best thing to do is just lay it on the ground. So let's have a closer look at some of these organic materials. Compost is probably your best choice. As compost decomposes, it adds nutrients to the soil, it adds organic matter to the soil, and because it has a high CEC, it also holds on to those nutrients longer. Manure is almost as good as compost. The problem with manure is that it can't be too fresh. There's lots of discussion online about how fresh manure can be. Some people say rabbit manure can be very fresh and won't harm plants. Chicken manure is very high in nitrogen, so it tends to burn plants. So you have to be really careful with chicken manure. The best thing to do is to compost your manure. Now you don't have to go through a full composting process, but let it sit around for at least a short period of time and let it start that decomposition process. Then layer it on top of the soil and it's not likely to damage your plants. Sawdust is made up of wood and that sounds like that would be a good item to add to your soil. If you can get some for free, go ahead and add it, but you have to be careful how you use it. Don't dig it into the soil because those small particles of wood all will suck nitrogen out of the soil as microbes try to decompose them. If you layer it on top of the soil, it doesn't allow a lot of air and water to get to the soil. So the best thing to do with sawdust is to compost it. If you want to use it as a mulch, just put down a very thin layer. Weeds are very controversial. Lots of people put their weeds in the garbage because they don't want them spreading around their garden. I take most weeds and put them back in the garden. There are a few exceptions. Things like bindweed and Canada thistle. They have very long roots that sprout even if you have a tiny piece of root left. So what I do with those thugs, I usually throw them on the pathway and let them sit there for a couple days and let the sun bake them and kill them. Then I can throw them back into the garden. But most weeds, if they haven't gone to seed, can just be thrown on top of your garden or into a compost bin. That's good organic matter. Don't give that away. Peat moss is great in containers, but it's really not the best product to use in garden. You can dig it in if you're making a new bed. It does add organic matter, but peat moss has no nutrients, so it's not the best product for your garden. It's better to use some sort of organic waste material. Hay and straw are also good in the garden. They're very difficult to dig into the soil, so they're best used as a mulch. They'll slowly decompose, slowly add nutrients to the soil, and slowly improve the quality of your soil. Compost is the best organic material to add to your garden, but there are many different kinds of compost. Which one is best? I've made a video to answer that question. And I'll put a link to that in the top right hand corner. I hope you build the best soil possible.